Welcome back to Ozarks Live. Putting the Ozarks First is happening tomorrow across the Ozarks, and one of the local nonprofits that benefits from it is Ozarks Food Harvest. And with us now for more information on that is Jordan Browning. Jordan, how are you? Doing very well. Thank you for having me. We're excited to have yes. you, and we're yes. excited to hear about this partnership and how you're benefited by this. Yeah, yeah. So this <laughs> is like, <laughs> it's another great event yeah. of putting the Ozark first. So we've been doing this since, wow, 2020 when the pandemic happened. Oh, that's and great. so, yeah, yeah, you guys have been great partners along with Price Cutter for helping us establish this to raise more funds for families facing hunger in the Ozarks. Mm -hmm. um, so this has been a fantastic program because it's raised more than $10,000. So that's wow. provided nearly 40,000 meals that go out across the Ozarks. Mm. Now, didn't you tell me recently that like we, that there are so many more families now than ever that are needing help? Yeah, absolutely. We are actually seeing a higher demand for food right now than we were during the height of the pandemic, wow. mm. which is nuts. So we're having to purchase more food, we're having mm -hmm. to distribute more, fo more food. And one of the great things about Ozarks Food Harvest, and not a lot of people know this, mm -hmm. is that it doesn't just stay here in Greene County, it goes all across Southwest mm -hmm. Missouri. Mm -hmm. So what we do with our large warehouse is we purchase large amounts of food in bulk, and we deliver that absolutely free to more than 270 different community and faith-based charities. Across. Which is incredible. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. Really is. Okay, so yeah. on that point, let's back up yeah. a little bit. Remind yeah. people exactly what Ozarks Food Harvest is if they're still unfamiliar. Oh yes, so sorry, Ozarks Food Harvest, we are the Feeding America Food Bank for Southwest Missouri. Okay. So that means we are distributing food across a 28 county service area. Okay. And the reason we do that is because one in five children and one in six adults face hunger in the Ozarks. Mm. So we want to make sure that we're taking care of people in our own backyard because hunger is an issue that's not some far off place. It's right here in the Ozarks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, aside from the stats, what are like some facts that you would want to share regarding hunger relief in the Ozarks that people really should just know? Yeah, I mean, great things to know is we're distributing about 20 million meals each and every year. And so we're working with tons of local organizations. So for example, Crosslines, mm -hmm. by working with us, they were able to distribute 1.5 million dollars worth wow. of food last year so those partnerships allow us to do what we do best which is get food store it and then send it out across our service area so all those agencies have to worry about is just getting food out to families in need mm -hmm. now do you prefer actual food gifts or do you prefer it in the form of like cash that's a great question mm -hmm. so typically we would prefer cash because the reason is we can stretch that dollar as far as it can possibly go so we can take just one dollar and turn that into ten dollars worth of groceries for a family in need because of your partnerships exactly <laughs> okay exactly. something that we can't yes. do yeah. yeah yeah because we can buy that food in such large large amounts mm -hmm. and we can ship it in such a large amounts that if an agency was working by itself, they wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, wow. which is so important. Yeah. Now with that, with all the amazing work you guys do, you also need volunteers. So what are some volunteer opportunities open that you all provide? Absolutely. So we have volunteers five days a week. We have them uh, throughout the day. We even have them in the evening from six to nine. And that is huge for us because every week we are sorting more than 100,000 pounds worth of food. So that's making sure that we're sorting it in a quick enough time that we can get it out the door as quickly as possible. Mm. So we wouldn't be able to do what we do at Ozark yeah. Food Harvest without volunteers. There's no mm. way you could feed that many people. <laughs> right. All right, so let's talk about the bags here on the table. Yes, so this is through Price Cutter. So if anyone is going through the line, they can donate $10. This bag kind of represents the amount of food that that is able to purchase. Okay. Right. And so all of those funds, you can choose whether they go to Cross Lines or they go to Convoy of Hope or Ozarks Food Harvest. All of those nonprofits are benefiting from this. Okay, okay great. very good. Yes. Now we're going to put a QR code up on screen mm -hmm. if people are wanting to give to putting the Ozarks first, but also remind people how they can get in contact with Ozarks Food Harvest. Yes. If anyone is interested in volunteering or donating, you can go to OzarksFoodHarvest.org. That has all of our information. Or if you're even trying to plug someone in that needs assistance, okay. we have all of that on our website there. If you need help, go to the website. Yes. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Jordan, we Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks for stopping, and we yes. always love having you. Yes. Thanks for having me. <laughs>